Jesus overcame. I'm Pastor Arlen. I'm so glad you're joining me today. I have a scripture for you. It's in John chapter 16, verse 33. It says, In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. See, every day things come against you and I in life to try to steal our joy and rob us of our victory. But in fact, throughout your whole life, the enemy has had one mission. That is to kill. That is to steal. That is to destroy everything you've ever worked for in your life. And everything that you own. And everything in your future. And that includes your happiness. And that includes your joy. But I, I love what it says in, in this verse. It says, take heart. So in one translation, it says, be of good cheer. Now, that may seem strange to say right after, like in, in, in this world, you're going to have trouble, you know. But uh, uh, we've all had our, our, our share of trouble. But when we truly understand that we are overcomers in Christ Jesus, we can be joyful no matter what the circumstances look like. So we don't have to look at our emotions to get rattled. We don't have to let our nerves go haywire. We can find rest that Jesus has overcome the world and deprive it of the power to harm us. So we have, have to remember that things that happen in this life are temporary. We are in this world, but we're not of this world. And we need to keep our focus on eternal things things above and sure um, we, we're gonna have some troubles some things it's gonna run up against us but thank God we already know God's already won this victory that we've already won the battle the battle is belongs to the Lord so we can stay encouraged because in eternity we are overcomers but we are and eternity is now and in your future through Jesus Christ. So I'd like to say a prayer over you today. Father, I thank you as we come to you today. And Father, thank you for helping us stay focused on eternal things, knowing that we have already won the victory because of what you did from raising from the dead. And Father, today we choose to have joy and peace no matter what comes our way because we know we have the ultimate victory in you, in Jesus' name. God bless you. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.